Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on some shocking breaking news in the coaster industry regarding Universal Orlando and VelociCoaster. On March 30th at 6.04pm, it was reported that Universal accidentally tweeted out a detailed piece of news regarding their newest coaster, VelociCoaster. Apparently, the person running Universal Orlando's Twitter account accidentally tweeted out a tweet that was supposed to go out on April 12th. The tweet seems to be an announcement saying that VelociCoaster has unfortunately been delayed until the summer of 2023. After being up for just over 45 seconds, the tweet was removed. However, one viewer was able to snap a screenshot before it was taken off. I seriously have a million questions about this. What in the world must have happened to delay the coaster over two and a half years? I mean, did the ride derail or something? I have to say this is kind of strange, but I guess it makes a little bit of sense. Over the past couple of days, we've been hearing reports that the second launch on VelociCoaster was experiencing some major technical difficulties, but I doubt anyone thought it would be this bad. The thing that makes this really strange is that this is only coming three days after Busch Gardens Tampa delayed Iron Gwazi until 2024. So we're going to have to wait a while until we actually get to ride these epic Florida rides. This has really been an amazing week for theme parks. All of these announcements are coming only a week after Funspot America announced their largest expansion to date. I bet you already heard this amazing news, but if you haven't, here it is. Funspot America just recently announced their complete acquisition of the entire Disney World Resort. I think this is amazing news, and I cannot wait to see what amazing changes Funspot will make to the Magic Kingdom and other Disney parks. Also, you probably already know this, but Dollywood is completely retracking Lightning Rod again for the third time. They're going to be giving it a 100% wooden track and spinning trains. Oh yeah, and Cedar Point is also closing down for good, but that's not really important. Thank you guys for watching this April Fools video. I hope I fooled some of you guys, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Trust me, this is not my normal content. This is the Coaster Josh, signing out.